Hey everyone and welcome to episode 36 of Unboxing Wednesdays for books arriving in stores on July 6, 2011. A uh, quick announcement for the beginning of this show. Uh, we invite you all to check out our brand spanking new website www.stadiumcomics.com Yes, we finally have a website with our proper name in the domain. Our old website sidekickcomics.ca is still active and it will be used purely for our subscription and pull list customers from now on. Rob, open up some boxes. First up this week are these two Marvel Pop Heroes figures. This is uh, the Hulk and movie Loki. I guess they were left behind by Diamond last week. They didn't ship with all the other figures. Uh, sometimes that happens. Sometimes your supplier likes to uh, ship stuff to us late. We've got a couple Flashpoint shirts from DC this week. First up is this Professor Zoom. See it says Flashpoint on the back. And this one's really cool. This is Batman Night of Vengeance. Here we have a Green Lantern t-shirt featuring the art of the talented and very Canadian Darwin Cook. Oh, I have to show that. People want to see it, Rob. The people want to see it. Despite Rob's protest, here is uh, a brand new Flash t-shirt. This features the Silver Age Flash. And uh, Rob doesn't want anyone else to have it but him. But unfortunately, uh, I am going to put it on sale here in our store. Issue 1 of 3 of the new Marvel miniseries, Wolverine and Black Cat, Claws 2. Issue 3 of Moon Knight. Marvel really didn't know what to call this one shot, so they just called it uh, Captain America Thor Avengers. Very creative. Dude, don't look at the tripod. X-23 issue 12. Hulk issue 36 sees Hulk possessed by z z, -Z -Zax. And here is the Captain America related Hulk variant cover. Here's X-Men number 14, the regular cover. Here's the 70th anniversary Captain America variant for X-Men. And here is the other variant cover for X-Men 14. Here's a new uh, mini-series from Marvel that features Magneto and a new team of teen heroes. And it's called Vengeance, and this is issue one of six. I did get a chance to read this. It was pretty interesting. The team kind of follows in the tradition of the resistance movements that grew out of World War II, particularly in France. There's a lot of history that gets talked about in this book. That was an interesting aspect for me to read. Uh, but definitely pick this one up if you have a chance. Here is the variant cover. All right, the rest of the Marvel books we're showing today are all Fear Itself books. So let's get it started off with this second printing of Fear Itself book three. Here's Thunderbolts issue 160. Heroes for Hire number nine. Issue one of three of the Fear Itself Uncanny X-Force miniseries. Here's issue 540 of Uncanny X-Men. Fear Itself Youth and Revolt issue three of six. Here's issue one of three of the Fear Itself Wolverine miniseries. And then we have Fear Itself Book 4. This is the main part of the Fear Itself event. And this is the regular cover. And here we have the variant cover. Here's both covers to issue 3 of Mega Man. Chu number 19. Transformers Ongoing Issue 21 has two covers. Actually three covers if you include this variant. There's also two covers to G.I. Joe this week. Here's The Walking Dead Survivor's Guide Issue 4. From Boom Studios is Elric Issue 1. We last saw Elric at Free Comic Book Day, so if you picked that book up and liked it, you might want to pick this up today. Here's 50 Girls 50 uh, with a cover by Frank Cho. Executive Assistant Iris The Hit List, Issue 1 of 5. Here's the first cover and the second. Captain America First Vengeance collects issues 1 to 4 of the miniseries of the same name. New today in hardcover is Scarlet by Brian Michael Bendis and Alex Maleev. Available for the first time in softcover is Lock and Key Volume 3. And for the first time in hardcover, Lock and Key Volume 4. Brand new today. Book 5 of Northlanders. And here is Volume 2 of the new G.I. Joe Real American Hero series that continued on from the old Marvel Comics series from the 80s. Also available today for the first time in soft cover is Kick-Ass, and there are two covers. Here is the first, and here is the second. New from DC today is this hardcover covering the first story arc in uh, Green Arrow. The Titans Annual features the JLA, Secret Six, issue 35, DC Universe Online Legends, issue 11, Adventure Comics, issue 528, Superboy, issue 9, Good news, everyone. There's a new Subway comic this week. Everybody loves the Subway comic. Retailers hate the Subway comic because what it does 
is it takes uh, books like Superboy and adds a bunch of pages to it. Our distributor actually charges us based on the weight for shipping. And uh, when you add in all these Subway advertisements, you're adding a significant amount of weight over the last three weeks to these DC Comics. DC though announced today that they're issuing uh, a partial shipping credit to help cover some of the increased costs that their uh, much beloved Subway comic is uh, bringing to retailers. All that's left for us to show you from DC are the Flashpoint books. So let's get started with World of Flashpoint, issue two, Secret Seven, issue two of three, Abin Sur, issue two of three. It's nice to see the whole 100 Bullets team back together again. We've got uh, Eduardo Risso doing art, Brian Azzarello doing writing, and Dave Johnson on the covers. And here is Flashpoint, issue three of five. And I believe we have a Rob review. Hello YouTube, Rob here. I wasn't going to talk about Flashpoint 3 today because let's face it, it's pretty obvious by now that I love The Flash. But then I read it, and I loved it. And I have to tell the world, I loved Flashpoint issue 3. Every once in a while I read a comic and it reminds me of why I love these things. For me this was one of those issues. I think this has been my favorite event comic since Infinite Crisis. There were so many great parts to this book, I could probably blabber on and on about it for an entire episode of Unboxing Wednesdays. But then I'd be like Kevin. And if I was like Kevin, then I'd hate myself. So I'll just go over the highlights. Jeff John said he wanted to elevate Cyborg, and he wanted to make him awesome. I wasn't really sure if he would be able to make that happen, but in this issue, Cyborg was so awesome. If he stays this cool after Flashpoint, then mission accomplished. Thomas Wayne as Batman is so damn cool. He's like this grizzled old badass doctor version of Batman. I really enjoy reading him. Superman was so creepy, but like Flash in the story, I still believe in him. I can't wait to see what he does next issue. This issue really seemed to start to set up the new DCU. If the transition from Flashpoint to the new DCU is a smooth one, then I'm very excited about it. If you are not reading Flashpoint right now, you are seriously missing out. Anyway, I know I haven't been doing too many reviews lately. I wish I had the time to do more, but somebody's got to do some work around here. And we all know that big lazy bastard Kevin is just going to stand around and talk all day while I get stuff done. If he was smart enough, I could probably teach him to do some work, but unfortunately, that is not a luxury we have here. Later, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Rob. As I was saying, this is Flashpoint Issue 3, Project Superman Revealed. And uh, Rob was very enthusiastic about this issue, so you may want to pick it up. This is the regular cover. This is a special Aquaman variant cover. And here is the 1 in 25 sketch variant cover. All right, last week, we wanted you to tell us what your favorite Unboxing Wednesday moment had been over the past 35 episodes. And the winner would get the complete set of Flashpoint pins. Again, a lot of great entries, a lot of great memories, but we did have to choose one winner. And that winner was Virtuous X Life whose favorite moment was when Rob did his spit take when we unboxed Sean Hatton in episode 14 of Unboxing Wednesdays. If you haven't checked out episode 14, definitely go back and have a look at it. It was a fun episode. Always great having guest stars on here, and Sean Hatton was a great guest star. Speaking of Sean Hatton, this week's prize is this amazing Spider-Man issue 648 sketch cover with a Sean Hatton Spider-Man sketch. Now, for those of you who don't know Sean, he is the host of Television's Electric Playground. He's also a very accomplished musician and an accomplished artist, as it turns out. In order to win this one-of-a-kind comic, tell us why Spider-Man's spidey senses are tingling. Let us know in the comments below, and Rob and I will choose the best answer next week to win this comic. Remember, you must be a subscriber in order to play along. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to watch our friends from the Flavorful Sauce podcast as they do reviews for us on our channel every week. Last week there was a bit of controversy. Nick wore uh, some pretty revealing shorts and uh, showed off his legs to the world. Nick's been warned, but he's a bit of a loose cannon and he may wear shorts again. Again, you can connect with us on any of the websites you see listed here on the screen. Don't forget again to check out stadiumcomics.com, our new website. And uh, we'll see you all next week for episode 37. Enjoy your comics, everybody.